Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 52. This question has been asked in uh, Amazon and I have also seen this question has been asked in multinational IT companies many times. That's why this question is very important from the SQL perspective for the role of uh, data engineer, data scientist and data analyst. So if you are new to this, uh, if you are new to, to my channel, please do subscribe it so that you will get uh, updates about my future uh, videos, uh, which will be uh, having similar questions like this. So now let's go back to the problem statement. Write a SQL query to remove all the reverse number pairs from below given table. Keep only one random pair. So uh, we have been given a table called reverse duplicates and we have the value called a, uh, if you see a, a and B column which has the value 1 comma 2 and then we have 3 comma 2, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 1, 5 comma 6 and 4 comma 2 right. So what it is telling we have to uh, we first will try to reverse this number so 1, 1 comma 2 will become 2 comma 1 right so we have that pay, uh, pair present in the row number 4 so what we have to do we have to keep only one such pairs similarly if you see 3 comma 2 uh, if we reverse it it will become 2 comma 3 and we do not have such pairs so this will be also present in the output table so you can see in the output table we have 3 comma 2 if you see row number 3 we have 2 comma 4 if you reverse it it will become 4 comma 2 and if you see the row number 6 uh, we have 4 comma 2 so this we have to keep only one pair that is 2 comma 4 in the output table if you again see 5 comma 6 if you reverse uh, reverse it it will become 6 comma 5 and we do not see such records in the input table that's why we see in the output table we have there are few assumptions for this problem there will not be same value for both a and b columns so it is telling that there will not be same value we can will not have a a as one and b as one also or two two, uh, two uh, uh, as a and uh, two as b so this is the first assumption and the second is that there will not be same pair of numbers repeating in this table so uh, it there will not be like one comma two and again it will be repeating one comma two one comma two or three if it is there three comma two then three comma two three comma two like that will not be there so we have to solve this problem keeping the following two assumptions let's see how we can do this in sql server there are multiple ways by which we can solve this problem but in this video basically i am going to discuss two approaches to solve this problem so first approach will be based on the self join so i will be discussing the first approach first so so it is based on self join after that i am going to see what is there in our input table so let me run this input table once again so we have input table called reverse underscore duplicates and uh, uh, where we have two columns called a and b so let me copy this query and let me write it over here and we'll give this table name as alias as let's say t1 and then i'm going to use left join after that i'm going to use the same table and we'll give alias as t2 after that i'm going to join on t1 dot a is equal to t2 dot b and t1 dot b is equal to t2 dot a so uh, let me try to make you understand by copying this query once again and uh, let's assume this first table is t1 and this second table is t2 okay so we have these two table so what i am doing in order to find the reverse duplicate so 1 1 and 2 1 comma 2 should be equal to 2 comma 1 right so for that what i am going to do t1 dot a should be equal to t2 dot t2 dot b right this one and 
t1 dot b should be equal to t2 dot a right similarly for over here also uh, 2 comma 4 so t1 dot a should be equal to t2 dot b so t, uh, t2 dot b and t1 dot b is equal to t2 dot a so that's why we have written this condition right so uh, let's see what result we are getting from this query see now we are getting uh, uh, this result so we have got 1 comma 2 and corresponding we got 2 comma 1 but for 3 comma 2 we do not have such pair for 2 comma 4 we got 4 comma 2 similarly for 2 comma 1 so this one this is the one 2 comma 1 we have 1 comma 2 so 5 for 5 comma 6 we do not have such pair for 5 comma 2 we have 2 comma 4 so what we want in the result we want we have this pair and this pair so we want only one the first one right we have this uh, this pair and this pair so we want out of these two pair we want only one and for these two we want wherever there is a null value this is a single pair so we want to retain these two so what conditions we will write so we can write where t1 dot a is less than t2 dot a so this will come this row will come and uh, uh, and for this uh, this uh, row for this what we can give we can give condition where uh, t2 dot a is null or we can also give and t2 dot b is null so let me write this where where t t1 t1 dot a is less than t1 dot sorry t2 dot a so what it will do it it, it it see we have this pair and this pair so this pair will be uh, neglected right because t1 dot a is less than t2 dot t2 dot a so this row satisfies the condition now i will add another condition or we'll open the bracket and we'll give t2 dot a is null if you want to write you can add this also but it's not mandatory t2 dot b is null now if you run let's see here you go you got the result right so, but we want in the in the in the select star we have to give t1 dot a comma t1 dot b so let me run now so you got the desired result right now i'm going to discuss the second approach which uses the correlated subquery and not exist operator so let me write correlated subquery and not exist so for this uh, i will be using the same concept uh, here also i will be using this reverse duplicate table two times but it will be used in subquery and i will be using not exist operator and uh, let me first write the query then i will be explaining it so let me write select a star from this table and we'll give alias as let's say t1 and then i'm going to use where clause and then i'm going to use not exist operator not exist and then i'm going to write the same thing over here it's like a star from table uh, reverse underscore duplicates and I will give alias is t2 t2 where I'm going to copy the same condition what we have given in the first query same joining condition where t1 dot a is equal to t2 dot b and t1 dot b is equal to t2 dot a and there will be one more condition t1 dot 
a is greater than t2 dot a let me run this piece of code here you go you got the same result right let me run both the query and see the result now you can see the both the results are same now let me explain this query so for this also i will be i will be using two tables reverse duplicates as t1 and the second one as t2 so in this what will happen this first pair will be uh, compared within this uh, in, the, in the second set so since we are using not exist operator and we know that exist operator what does it do it checks the existence of the uh, rows in this subquery right so if any rows is returned then this uh, exist operator becomes true and that value is pr uh, printed but we have used not exist operator right so if if we are if we are getting any rows that means that will be negated and it will not print anything so if it the, if our inner query does not return anything then that will be negated and we will get the result in the output so so what i'm doing select start from reverse duplicates as t2 so one set of records one comma two will be compared uh, in this second set of table based on this condition right one comma two so this will be the conditions which will be satisfied right in this case what we are doing t1 dot a is greater than t2 dot a so t1 dot a what is this t1 t1 is 1 and uh, t2 dot a is uh, t2 dot a so t2 dot a is 2 right so this condition becomes uh, false and this false will be negated and this result will be in the screen Similarly, for 3 comma 2, this 3 comma 2 is this condition itself will not satisfy and this will in inner query will not return anything and since it will not return anything, we have not exist operator outside so it will negate the result and it will this out, outside query will come, become true and we will see the output, right. So this is how we can do a dry run, we will get the results. So uh, that's all for this video. I have tried to explain my best. Uh, and with the two different approaches if you have liked my video and this my approaches please do uh, share with all your friends who are aspiring to be a data scientist or data engineer or even data analyst so that they will be benefited and if you really like my approach please do give thumbs up thumbs up and 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 if you know any other way by which you can solve this problem please do write it in the comment section